I'm Lady Charmaine, and my guest today is one of the stars of Lifetime's Preacher's Daughters. And she's here today to talk about the second season. And I want you to help me welcome back to the show, Miss Colby Koloff to the show. How you doing, Colby? Hi, I'm doing great. I hope you're doing well, too. Good. I'm doing well. Thank you so much for asking. And congratulations on the second season of the show. Thank you so much. Now, were you expecting to get a second season? Um, We weren't sure. We were hoping and we were very glad that we did. So it's been a fun ride. Now, are you anticipating a third season? Do you know yet? That's still up in the air, you know, um... I'm sure when we decide or whatever, everybody will know. Okay, so then I guess we'll all soon find out. So so the second season, tell us about the second season and some of the changes that you've seen in yourself from the first season to this second season. Well, second season shows a lot of me deciding on what I want to do with my future and if I want to do college or ministry or what. Um, and I think that I just grew up grew up a lot from first season to second season because first season I was just kind of, you know, um, really focused on dating and d- just that whole scene. And now I'm like, all right, that is not as important as my future. So that's what I've been focusing on. And then it also shows my sister and her husband's struggles and just kind of me looking at that and realizing things they're going through. And so it's definitely made me more aware on relationships. Um, and I don't just take them, I take them really seriously now if I decide to get in one because of everything that my sister and her husband went through second season and, um, and then, you know, just deciding on what I want to do with my future. I felt so bad for your brother-in-law when he asked her sister again for her hand in marriage. I mean, my heart just went out to him. And how do you cover something like that up in front of your friends and family and your current wife says, um, I don't know. How is he doing with that situation, with that embarrassment on television when he had to see it for himself? You know what? He, well, I mean, yes, that's a very awkward situation, and I'm sure he wasn't exactly pleased that he was denied in front of friends and family. But we're a very honest family, and I, in the moment, I didn't understand what Karen, you know, why Karen did that. Because I'm like, just say yes and say no later, you know. But we're a very honest family, and Karen just wanted to be straight up from the beginning, and I respect her for that. And uh, and I know Chad did, too, once he kind of took a step back and was just like, okay, you know what, I do understand where she's coming from. And um, so he's doing fine, and you'll see in the next, the last two episodes, just um, everything they worked through, and it's really inspiring. Oh, that's wonderful. Now, how do you feel or how do you like living your life in front of the world on television where now you're letting us into your life? We get to see the issues like with your sister and brother-in-law. How does that make you feel as a young woman? Some points it is difficult because people are going to judge. People aren't going to agree with everything we say or we do. And we knew that going into this and we expected that. But we all we always said if our struggles and our triumphs help at least one person, then it's worth it to us because our goal is to reach people with the word of God, and that, that's our mindset. We're not doing this to be on a TV show. I mean, like, we're doing this to reach people and spread his kingdom, and that's what we're doing this for. And so sometimes it is hard, and sometimes I'm like, I just want to be a regular teenager again. But then I'm like, well, you know what? God called us to do this. He gave us this opportunity, and we have to take it, and we have to give him all the glory for it. And so that's just what we're doing. And so I'm thankful for the platform he's given us because it's been able, it's enabled us to reach a lot of people. Now, that's a blessing. And that was very wise coming from a young lady, too. Now, have you decided to still go to college instead of work in ministry like your dad wants you to? You know what? I'm still kind of deciding. Um, I would love to find a way to mix them two together. So, you know, I, I just, everyone will have to wait and see because I'm still <laughs> waiting to see. So, <laughs> now are you are you dating now? I am not. I am still single, and I'm okay. I always tell people I have a boyfriend. His name is Jesus. I know, that's that's what I'm dating right now, and that's what I'm focusing on. 
Yeah, before I got married, Jesus was my husband too, girl. Making he is <laughs> now he'll he'll never break your heart. That's one thing I love about Jesus. He won't break your heart. Won't let you down. Exactly. I mean, he'll love you always, even when you're unlovable. That's mm-hmm. one thing I love about Jesus. <laughs> exactly. So, watching your show and watching your family, what do you want the audience to take away from your story? I hope they just see that we're being as real as can be, and they take the things that we go through on the show and the struggles that we face, and they're just able to apply it to their lives and learn something. And, um, you know, we've gotten feedback from families saying that they will, whatever's going on in our family that week, they'll watch it as a family, and then they'll sit down and talk about it together as a family and how they would deal with it and stuff like that. And that's just such a blessing to hear. And so rather than using our child's for, you know, just to sit and be upset about them and upset about the struggles we face, we're going to use them towards our testimony so people can relate to them and get through their struggles as well. Now, are you watching uh, Are you watching the show with the rest of us when we watch it on Wednesdays? Yes, I am watching it with the world. Now, now watching the other stories, do you have your opinion on the other families and the other stories, or do you just say that's just life? Because everyone's story is definitely a little different. You know, you have a new cast um, made on there. You have um, Tori that's on there, too. What do you think about the other stories as you watch the other young ladies? I just, well, people have asked me that before, and they're like, oh, you do you not like them, whatever, and I just say, I have nothing against the families. They might go through different struggles than my family does, or those girls might go through different struggles than I do, but that doesn't mean that I'm any better than them whatsoever. I've made my fair share of mistakes and gone through um, trials and tribulations myself, so I'm in no place to judge whatsoever the struggles that they face. And, I mean, I honestly wish for the absolute best, and all I, you know, I, I have no room to judge. All I have to do and all I can do is just pray that they get through it and I will be there to support them when they do. And then my next question, do you all support one another? Because I know you're watching the stories. Do you like talk on the phone with some of the ladies and you guys talk about your stories, talk about your struggles and help one another? Um, I, I've i talked to them a little bit. I don't talk to them as much as they may talk to each other. Um, but they, we've definitely all just talked about... Um, you know, things we've been through and what and things we went through on the show during filming and whatnot. Uh, but I don't talk to them a lot. Not, I mean, it's not anything like, I, you know, I don't want to talk to them, nothing like that whatsoever. We just, you know, we all are very busy and we don't live near each other and it's just very difficult. Okay. And now, last thing, what do you do in your spare time? You're not filming um, right now and I know you're in school. What do you like to do? Um, well, I... And starting music, I just released my first EP uh, two weeks ago. So it's on iTunes. It's called Be Free. I'm very proud of it. My brother-in-law was a huge part in that. He pretty much helped me through the entire thing. So that's really a huge focus in my life right now. Um, just been getting speaking engagements, and I still do a Monday Night Devotional called The New Different, so I do that. Um, I mean, music and Jesus, those are my two biggest holidays right now and I'm a girl I love to shop too so I'll throw that in there okay I know that's right just sing love songs to Jesus girl that's your man so you can sing songs to him. That's great. <laughs> well, I want to thank you so much for uh, coming on the show. It's always a pleasure having you. And I want to remind the audience to make sure you tune in to watch Preacher's Daughters on Lifetime on Wednesdays at 9, 8 Central. Thank you so much, Kobe, for coming back on the show. Oh, thank you so much for having me. And it's always a pleasure. And you have a blessed day. Thank you. You too.